笑了。Dueling Genre Productions presents Geek by Night, Episode 14, Under the Bridge, Part 2, written by Michael Austin Gulick and Sean Gantworker. You want me to what? Apologize. To her? A- after what she did? What she did? This is all happening because of you. Me? All I did was dare to have an unpopular opinion. She's the one who made a video to call us names. She's bullying us. Are you deranged? What the hell kind of sense does that make? Are you kidding me? I'm the only one around here making any sense. She attacks us, you attack me. That is some grade-A trickle-down bullying. If anything, it's a circle that begins and ends with you. Like it or not, Underdog Comics is too important to us to just flip out whenever someone hints at an idea that you're not 100% copacetic with. It's just my opinion! Well, your opinions are reflecting poorly on all of us. Yeah, thanks to you, Underdog Comics is now McKinney City's own shining beacon of misogyny. Hey, this is my shop just as much as it is yours. I should be allowed to talk to people however I want. You absolutely have the freedom to talk to them any way you want, Gibson. But they also have the freedom to shop somewhere else if they don't like it. You're single-handedly driving people to Monopoly comics. I can't believe you're all taking her side. We're supposed to be friends. This isn't about taking sides, Jeff. We're just asking you to maybe chill out a bit. Whatever happened to never going against family? That's not what this is. Gibson, there are rules. And if you want to stay in this store and on this team, you have to abide by them. Tell you what, then. If I'm such a burden, I'll just go ahead and get out of your hair. I'll try not to offend anyone on my way out the door. Well, that could have gone better. Should I go after him? No, it's probably for the best. I think he needs to be on his own for a while. It'll give him a chance to mellow out, you know? Maybe reflect a little... Well, as long as he's not taking out his frustration on customers, I'm fine. Right. Gibson, alone and unsupervised. What sort of trouble could he possibly get into? Give me another. All right. But this is going to be last call. Then you better make it two. Listen, buddy, you got somebody you can call for a ride. Are you asking me to leave now, too? Not asking. Your force field of sadness is driving my customers away. Well, at least it's not my Michel Gondry doing it this time. Your what? My friends all hate me, and they think I'm a Michiganist. What's wrong with being from Michigan? No, no, not not Michigan. Um, a mi- um, a mi- uh, a, mi- a machine ghost. I don't know what the hell you're babbling about, Drunko, but it's about time you go home now. You got any friends who don't hate you? Well, I did meet a guy at the park today. Some lady called the police because she did not like what we were doing. Look, I don't care who you call as long as it ends up with you not being here anymore. I don't hate women. Nobody said you did. They all did. I mean, they they all say it with their eyes and their judgy faces. This guy gets it, though. I'm I'm not a miss uh, miss miss uh, misogynist. Yes, (laughs) that is the thing that that I am not. Yeah, cool. Now get out of my bar. I don't know if I should call this guy. I mean, I just met him. What if he abandons me, too? Give me the phone. I'll do what you should have did ten minutes ago. Closing time. Open all the doors and let you out into the world. Closing time. Turn the lights up over every boy and every girl. (laughs) Hello? What did I tell you the last time I saw you? Uh, I don't know. I mean, I'm I'm pretty drunk right now, guy. 
I said that your friends would betray you. And what did they do? They cast you out. And now you're here, drinking and stumbling and singing alone, forced to call a stranger. It's ultimately forgivable. But would they forgive you? No, they would not. That's why we're here. That's why I'm here. Because I understand you. Because we're the same. And we're not alone. There are others like us. Brothers in arms. A fraternity of the disenchanted. A world without rules. Where your opinion will always matter. And no one will exile you for being problematic. I want to show you this place, Gibson. Will you join me? (laughs) To be totally honest, I really only caught about half of that, so... Come with me. Uh... Okay. Hey, uh, Iyer... Man? Are we going somewhere with a toilet? Because I don't know how much longer I'm going to be able to keep all these... Yeager shots I just had down. Mm. Yes, Gibson. We have a toilet. We have a toilet and so much more. So, like a bidet? No, we don't have a bidet. Ah, too bad. (gasps) I always wanted to use one of those. Me too. Me too. What was the place called? Underdog Comics in McKinney City. They have this misogynist little troll working behind the counter. (laughs) Oh, this is amazing. The underdogs have been hoisted by their own petard, Billy. What's, uh, What's that petard's name, that one there? Gabson? Gorbson? Gibson, sir. Jeff Gibson. Yeah, that's the one. They let that petard work for them, and it's blown up in their face. Now everyone hates them, and they'll lose all their customers to us. Well, sir, it is the internet. Uh, There's actually no guarantee that any of these people actually live in McKinney City. Uh, what do you mean? Sir, do you know how the internet works? I don't have time for the internet, Billy. I'm too excited about underdog comics going under because those petards don't know how to run a business. Sir, I don't think that word means what you think it means. Don't be petarded, Billy. After weeks of nefarious schemes, everything's coming up Carmichael. Well, sir, it appears as if the underdogs are attempting to do some damage control. It looks like they've just announced a Women's Appreciation Day. It's about as pandering as it sounds. Oh, but people love being pandered to, Billy. Hmm. I may have underestimated the underdogs this time. So pretty much business as usual, then. This is going to ruin everything. We have to stop them. Well, short of showing up and holding a protest, sir, I'm not actually sure what we can do. (gasps) Billy, I... I think I have an idea. Is it showing up at their store and holding a protest? It is! (laughs) Wow. How, How did you know exactly what I was thinking? Just a hunch. Well, I'm very impressed. Top marks, Billy. Thank you, sir. Uh, dude? I like spending tickets on junk prizes as much as the next guy, but after all that build-up, I kind of thought you'd take me somewhere less... retro? You know nothing, Jeff Gibson. How's that coffee working out for you? Actually, incredible. Like, incredibly not drunk. I feel great. What the hell did you put in this, anyway? It's our own brew made from coffee beans genetically engineered to have the highest concentration of caffeine possible. So much so, it's technically illegal. We all live off the stuff. We? Excuse me. Have we started the ire? Yes. The ire rises. Thank you. Hey, watch it. Advocates only. I'll advocate myself punching you in the face. He's only doing what's expected of him, Gibson. This one is with me. New recruit. Get in. What the hell was Gandalf back there being so protective of? Is there some kind of Gus Fring operation going on back here or something? (laughs) Or something. Jeff Gibson. Welcome to the secret lair of the Devil's Advocates. Not too shabby, man. Honestly, I was kind of picturing you just living in your parents' basement. Oh, no. No, we're way beyond that. Totally. Yeah. Me too. So, the Devil's Advocates, huh? 
Looks like a post-apocalyptic land party. What do you guys do, exactly? <laughs> Mostly piss people off. Let me introduce you to some of the crew. This is actually Dan. Actually Dan? Or just Dan? My name is Chris, actually. But please, call me actually Dan. Okay. Everyone here goes by their online handles. It makes things easier. Plus, you never have to worry about anyone selling you out if they don't know your legal name. You join us, and you'll get a Devil's Advocate screen name of your own. AD, why don't you show Jeff what you're working on right now? <clears throat> J.K. Rowling is just a stuck-up liberal bitch, and if you actually think that she's a better writer than George R.R. R. Martin, you're probably an illiterate feminist who deserves to die in a fire that uses the Harry Potter books as kindling. Isn't that a little severe? Severe, but poetic. Thanks, Iyer. Just doing my part. You have a gift, A.D. Actually, Dan is one of our best and brightest. Been with us since the beginning. I found him trolling the Ain't It Cool message boards, and it was some of the finest work I'd ever seen. What's this list of movies? Not just any movies. They're highly anticipated blockbusters. We got some intel on when their first trailers are due online. Oh, cool. Like, for your own personal use or whatever? <laughs> no. Just before they're released, we bury YouTube in videos claiming to be a leak of the new trailer. But instead, they're videos of still images proclaiming that you can watch the real video at a link. But when you click it, you just get taken to another video that says the same thing and links you to another and another and another until you've spent an hour going down a rabbit hole of links for a video that doesn't even exist. But why? Because <laughs> it's funny. I hate those videos. Everybody does. That's why it's funny. If you say so. Fly here is our kamikaze warrior. He hurls himself at celebrities online with an endless stream of insults, sacrificing his social media accounts to a worthier cause. Who are you in the process of suicide bombing today, Fly? Chad Wellington, this year's model of pseudo-Disney boy toy being shoved down the throats of our nation's youth so they can eat from the hands of their corporate masters. Hit a bit of a snag, though. I've gone at this guy from every direction, but whoever or whatever he has running his account is blocking me like they're Dikembe Mutombo. I've burned through a dozen accounts already, and I'm not getting anything through. That's because you're doing it all wrong. Oh, really, new guy? How do you figure? You can't just throw insults at a corporate-run account and hope to make an impression. You have to go a little further. Use a little finesse. Why don't you show us what you mean? I've got this covered, sir. I don't need his help. You heard the man, Fly Guy. School is officially in session. Time for me to deliver a hastily prepared lesson. Read me his latest tweet. <sighs> hey, Welling fans. Super stoked to announce new tour dates are up on cwellingtonlive.com. Hope you all come out. Hashtag cwellbewell. Hashtag Welling fans. God, his PR team's diet must be laced with Xanax. It's infuriating. All right. Reply with this. Excited about the tour, period. Where can I find the dates? Question mark. What are you... Just do it. They responded. The dates are on the website. Excellent. What website? Please check cwellington.com for all information on upcoming tour dates. Will the tour dates be posted at that link? Yes, all tour dates are on the website, cwellington.com. Do you have a link to it? <laughs> cwellington.com. What website is that? It's the website for singer-slash-songwriter Chad Wellington. And now for the killing blow. Have you ever heard of the singer-songwriter Chad Wellington? Wait for it. That is a lot of expletives. Are you not entertained? This user has blocked your account. Aw, oh, that's too bad. Some real grade-A trolling, though, new guy. Blocked or not, you still got more of a rise out of him than I ever did. Oh, there's more. Trust me. 
Go ahead and throw Chad Wellington into the search engine of your choice. Tell me what comes up. Twitter trolls taunting draws vicious reprisal from preteen heartthrob. Wellington Camp plans public apology. Holy shit, that was fast. The story is being picked up everywhere. But my Twitter account is gaining hundreds of followers by the minute. This is amazing. You're welcome. Not bad. What do you call that? It's an advanced trolling technique called shrubbing. I can teach it to you guys if you like. <laughs> well, all right. So what do you say, Gibson? You on board? Driving the internet crazy with petty arguments and meaningless viral videos? Hmm. Where do I sign? By Night is executive produced by Scott Corelli and Nick Jimenez. Co-executive produced by Cassandra Fredrickson. Starring Chris O'Connor as Jeff Gibson. Ray Russo as Gwen Allen. Matt Mazel as Elliot Markowitz. Andrew Ball as Simon Holt. Morgan Spencer as Mindy Gibson. Naomi Wong as Lorelai Swift. Jay Malone as Victor Conrad. Scott Tofty as Max Carmichael and Nick Jimenez as Billy. Also starring, Mark Allen Jr. as The Ire, Lindsay Lorraine as Amanda Hill, and Rachel Gatlin as Mystery Woman. Additional voice work by Rhonda C. Mitchell, Nicole Grieco, Bradley William Smith, Warren Blackie, Jeremy Heaps, Nolan Tajijan, Josh Chichester, and Garrick Young. Casting by Chelsea Kern. Under the Bridge, written by Michael Austin Gulick and Sean Gantworker. Directed by Ray Ruzo. Edited by Scott Corelli. Geek by Night theme by Zach Gibson. Original score and final mix by Scott Tofty. Credits read by Brian Brown. Geek by Night, created by Scott Corelli. All characters in this work are entirely fictitious. Any resemblance to real persons, living or dead, is purely coincidental. Copyright 2016, Dueling Genre Productions. Thanks for listening. Thanks for listening.